Hey guys, so this is another Weapons Awakening video, and this time it's for batch number four. <laughs> the last time that we actually got uh, a Weapon Awakening, like, batch of heroes, that was five months ago. So, yeah, the devs really, really made us wait this time, huh? <laughs> but we finally got it. We finally got new heroes to actually upgrade, and surprisingly, they added two four-star heroes and just one for five stars so that's interesting and not only that they only chose one faction which is royal guard of all things so maybe that's how they're planning to get the weapons awakenings they choose a faction another faction another faction so so that's pretty cool so if you upgrade one of them you can work uh, uh combine it with another hero that you have a five star maybe getting an extra buff from a faction huh. it's pretty interesting so anyhow uh let's get this ball rolling guys so bedivere bedivere's weapon well we well, first of all i want to mention something bedivere has uh, is a i think it's a, he's a good hero but there's a hero that has been murdering this guy so much to to the point that nobody uses him and that is palmyra palmyra comes in and she dispels this guy to death straight off the bat it's 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 pretty disgusting guys however with his new weapons awakening let's talk about it real quick here awakening number one better skill has been enhanced gains the shield equal to 40 percent of mass hp for four turns when casting the skill so this extra shield could help him survive uh, Palmyra a lot more if if he goes off first in Palmyra, which is highly unlikely. But if he, if he does, 40% shields could definitely give him an edge to actually survive Palmyra in that situation. So that will be really, really cool. Awakening plus two, Bedivere's passive is enhanced. For every 2% HP loss, increases defense by 1% up to 50%. So this is interesting and, and really cool. Um, but the thing is that if he doesn't have any shields at the time and Palmyra comes in and she hits him with all of his, all of her might, he may straight up go to one life, like in that situation right off the bat and naturally not even see this. However, versus any other opponent, opponent uh this or uh, raising of defense is going to be very problematic especially if they don't if they don't have dispellers if they do if they don't have dispellers this is going to be a really tough fight for them for sure adding this extra defense for sure guys now awakening plus three and this is the interesting one better be against a new passive when taking fatal blow recovers a hundred percent of match hp unaffected by reducing the effect takes effect one time per battle so this is pretty powerful this is a this is a an awakening for a five star hero like uh like a uh, loki mildred also has this type of ability uh so that's pretty powerful guys so even if palmyra comes in and kills him right off the bat he he will be immortal for one turn and gain the life 100% again. So that's interesting. So Palmyra will need to charge up and hit him again to kill him. So yeah, that that is very cool. Very powerful stuff for, for him for sure. So he really wanted to survive <laughs> the dreaded Palmyra. That, that would be really powerful. And uh, this may actually help him to actually uh, be more useful in, in war defenses and things like that. Because he's, he's a def defense hero through and through right up the bat for sure in that situation. So very powerful stuff, guys. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, Bedeville may be used more in, with this ability for sure. Uh, when he loses life, he's going to gain additional defense. And so, and if, if not, he's going to get 100%. So that's pretty cool. That's for sure. So let's talk about the next one, which is Jane. Jane, when she, ever since she was released, she was, she was an incredibly overwhelming, annoying, like, Everybody that saw, everybody used to play Jane in every single team, because uh, she was just that freaking crazy, guys. Just that freaking crazy. But with the power difference, a lot of a lot of people have stopped using her in that situation, especially with the with, with the resonance more more resonance with purple. A lot less people have been using her. However, let's check her awakening abilities, because <laughs> she does have many good ones here. Plus one, Jane skill cleanses the all debuff from allies. Okay. This one, this one right here is <laughs> giving her the ability to cleanse is such a huge upgrade for her. You have no idea. So, so many debuffs that are out there right now that she needs to cleanse. Because, for example, if uh, if um 
Elmas comes in and makes all of your heroes not heal, then that's a weakness that you have. Ever since she was released, she, that was her weakness, Elmas, because he dispels and makes nobody heal. So if nobody heals, uh, yeah, that's going to be a problem. But if she goes off again, she'll be able to cleanse. And after she cleanses and the, and the enemy doesn't activate uh, Elmas, uh, in that situation, she'll be able to heal the life back again in that situation. So, plus two, Jane's passive is enhanced. For every 2% HP loss, increases healing power by 1% up to 50%. Okay, normally people don't pay attention to healing power, but I think in this this specific contact it is relevant because imagine again if you're if elvis goes off she she receives that she doesn't heal she and and at the same time uh she doesn't heal and uh she's not able to uh do anything in that situation however she goes off she cleanses and after that uh when she gains life it's she's gonna re receive more life than usual because she lo lost life uh in the fight with with uh, elvis in that situation so uh, that could be more relevant for her. It could be more powerful, especially with her third awakening. <laughs> wow. Because uh, plus three awakening, Jane gains a new passive. When taking a fatal blow, recovers 50% of mass HP unaffected by reduced healing effects and casts skill immediately. <laughs> Takes effect uh, one time per battle. So yes, this is the one. This is the one that changes everything because imagine that uh, uh an enemy is attacking uh jane let's let's put in elmas again he is his he is his or her weakness comes in she's dead she revives gain 50 percent of, of of the of the um, hp which means that she has 20 25 percent healing power and activates her skill which pretty much cleanses Everybody gets damage share again. So when when hero starts to hit again, she is going to start healing the entire team uh, straight off the bat, guys. Really powerful stuff, guys. So so this is a really really powerful upgrade for her in this situation. Uh, once you actually see that in practice, <laughs> yes, that's gonna be pretty cool, guys. You just have to make sure to raise resonance and and all the all other things as much as possible, so she is able to survive more in that situation and raise, of course, the refinement for the weapon and things like that. So there's a question that somebody has been a, uh, a few people actually has been asking me. Which one should they focus on, Jane or Bedivere? Because let's be honest, uh, five-star heroes, uh, whales can just put in the cash, bind the weapons, and boom, they'll be able to to level it without any problems. But for four stars, it's very different. You're able to get it for free, but it's gonna take a long time to actually get these heroes to actually have a higher level, uh, buying it at a shop and things like that. And now the mats are harder to get. So yeah, I understand the question. So if if you if you actually made me choose between one of these two heroes to actually upgrade. I would choose Jane for sure. You know why? Because there are so many heroes that are enabled by damage share. Like Artemis. A lot of people say that Artemis is a trash hero. And I say to you, sir, ma'am, you are insane. Artemis is an incredibly powerful hero. If you have her at plus one, throwing Jane with uh, on that team with her weapon at plus three on defense and see the magic. <laughs> see the magic of Artemis with Jane. <laughs> <laughs> the, I mean, yeah. So, so there's a lot of heroes that that need damage share, and good damage share that only heroes don't create a, any shields. So, in other words, Colette, sweet Colette, and also, um, let's see, um, damage share. Luna can definitely use some uh, additional damage share as well. And remember that Jane activates her ability for healing when you're were you're receiving multiple hits. So having a Jane with the these types of abilities versus Thor. On, uh, when you're using her on the attack yeah that's going to be very relevant for sure in that situation and also with Damon come on guys you need this hero to survive with Damon for sure uh, he goes off everybody gets a bunch of damage but after that they, she starts healing again and it's it's like nothing happens 
And Better Beer is only going to affect three heroes. So yeah, the the up the, the choice is clear. You have to you have to upgrade Jane because Better Beer is going to just uh, protect three heroes, while Jane's going to protect your entire team and enable so many heroes. So yeah, I highly recommend you focusing on Jane instead of Better Beer in this situation. If you have the time and you really love Be Better Beer, you can definitely try to get him to plus three, but it's going to take some time for sure, guys. Now, without further ado, we're going to talk about Theo. Theo has been one of my favorite heroes ever since the game started. Look at this. This is so cool. Oh, I love that stuff. <laughs> ever since, the, for sure, guys. I, I, I love this hero so much, you have no idea. Anybody that known me, yeah, they know that I love this hero. However, uh, with time, he has, been, he has become a hero that is so irrelevant that nobody uses him at all. Even with all his stacks and a plus five, he won't even leave a scratch on any enemies at all. However, that, ladies and gentlemen, is about to change. <laughs> Awakening plus one, Theodore's passive is enhanced. Restores mana when an enemy casts a skill. <laughs> So so why not? Let's let's slap the awakening for plus three of Palmyra to this guy with his plus one. I mean, why not? <laughs> that is freaking insane, guys. That is that is adding an awakening on top of an awakening, man. So this means that this guy's gonna go off many times. And if you're using damage here, by the way, Jane does work very well with Theodore because damage shared is going to be shared and he's gonna get the the stats from his ability for sure so very powerful stuff guys now awakening plus two increases defense penetration by 25 percent when battle begins so anybody that has thor uh at plus five knows that damage penetration is a very powerful stack when you're doing a lot of damage so if, if you know what I'm talking about, you know that this will raise his attack. Uh, the, the actual damage he's done by a lot. A lot, guys. But that is nothing compared to his plus three. Theodore's passive has been enhanced. Each stack of stored HP now stores an additional 100% of his own attack. <laughs> So this guy, guys, this means that now his stats are pretty much stacking double, double the attack that he originally had. So you put these two together, you're going to have a very, <laughs> oh man, I'd rather just show you guys because I actually do have footage. I do have footage of this and I'm going to show you a fight of a player that it's, um, I think it's. Um, 2,800 power versus and another one that is like three, 310, 320 power. So, no joke, guys. The uh, the power the power difference is is real, guys. So yeah, remember the defense one is the one that has 300k power. Check it out. Let us so fun. Unwavering hope. Let our soul bond. Oh, no. I don't want it up yet. Let us 
accept your fate. You saw it! You saw it! <laughs> so now Theo is able to actually murder enemies. Just like before, he used to go off and murder anybody. So if that guy is able to, to do that much damage versus an enemy that is that strong, imagine the possibilities of actually you being stronger than your enemy and they're attacking. That's going to be a very big difference versus your enemy, guys, for sure. Wow, that is <laughs> that is very cool, guys. Uh, I really wish I had more weapons to actually upgrade my Theo because, oh my god, I love this hero so much. But let's, le le let's leave it on the stack, guys. I'm definitely going to awaken this hero for sure in the future. So keep an eye on Theo. If, he, if he's on defense... If he's on defense, make sure to, to check if his weapon is a plus three. Because if it's a plus three, you may get a very, very, very sad surprise, guys. All right, guys, that's all for this video. If you have any questions, if you have any concerns, if you think I made a mistake, please leave it in the comments and we'll talk about it. All right. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.